This is part two of the video. I guess my phone can't uh, keep it all. So again, here's the fig tree I was talking about in the last clip. Um, kind of overgrown by the local Hawaiian uh, wildlife. This is the fig part of it, actually. And obviously this stuff is all the wild. So I got to weed that. Um, over here, all this is the little wild thimbleberries that people like to eat. So that's kind of cool in its own way. Kind of sharp, but you know. Um, again, here's some more wild uh, land I haven't even tamed yet. A lot of cool stuff out there. This is our natural pond. That uh, When it rains pretty hard, you can kind of see the pond line where it's supposed to be full. Right now it's not. Those are our uh, four call ducks, actually, that we purchased from a, a breeder. And they love this pond. This is their, they're pretty much their home. Every morning I let them out of their duck coop and they fly over here for the remainder of the day. So I know I'm kind of bugging them now, so they're all going to get mad at me and waddle away. Unfortunately, we got them a little too old, so we can't, we couldn't really hand raise or hand train them. So they're, they're friendly, but they don't let us pet them or anything like that. But uh, our goal is to have more ducks actually in the future when we have some more resources and money and kind of have a nice flock and then hopefully we can train those guys. So there goes the duckies. Over here we start our uh, citrus lane, as we call it, coming into the house. This is a one of the first cadaver lime trees. This one does not have any um, limes on it yet. And I don't even know what this thing is. Oh, the owner told us, but I forgot. In fact, I think it's a guava or like a plum or something. Yeah, see there's there's something right there. So I need to do my research on that. But here's some more lime trees. You can kind of see them all spread out. And the ducks are going to follow us, it looks like. So, hi duckies. Um, this is our big boy, our big Kadafir lime tree. This guy pumps out some good limes for us. Good for drinks or, uh, you know, tacos or whatever else you guys want to put limes on. Here's one of them right here. So, tons of limes. Um, they're all popping in. We pick them every couple days or so. Over here, I don't know what this tree is. I kind of forgot, honestly. It looks kind of cool, though. It has kind of lacy leaves. Here's the blueberries. So, lots of blueberries. I think I still have some blueberries on here. Yep, there's a blueberry. So these are all of our blueberries. And that big grass bush over there is actually lemongrass, which we haven't had a lot of luck doing anything with. We just aren't that creative. Um, <laughs> Here's more Kadafir lime trees. Here's a little baby one. This is the uh, little duck hoop hooch I made for the ducks. Again, they're miniature, or they're call ducks, so they're small ducks. So all four of them can fit in this thing pretty well. I mean, here's a little kiddie pool in size comparison, so not horrible. So I think they put up with our prison for the most part. Um, here's one of the last lime trees. And sorry again if you guys are having trouble with the noise. It is kind of windy up here. We are kind of on a mountain. I think elevation up here is like 2,500 feet. Here's our only uh, orange tree. I think they're navel oranges. So they're kind of... They're pumping away. Put it that way. Here's one of the avocado trees. The biggest one I have in the front yard. So, kind of cool. And um, this is all part of the back property. It's a big gulch actually that goes down and some of these huge trees above the house. So I'm moving into the house, and again, uh, do excuse the mess. And you know, like I said, we live here, so you know, <laughs> there's gonna be stuff. We didn't get it super clean for the video or anything. Um, this is the house. It is a uh, fully inspected and licensed to be here um, cedar yurt. So that's actually pretty cool, we think. Um, you'll see two of our local cats in the video as well actually they've um we adopted the mom and then she had her babies of course she was pregnant there's the mom right there and then um this is my favorite baby this is abby as we call her or him we thought it was a her but it turns out it's a him so this is the one i hand raised and is actually really friendly and will let us pet her or him stuff like that there's a couple other cats see if we we see them in the area so this is the cool porch that the uh person put on this cedar yurt. Kind of neat. We'll uh, do a brief walkthrough from the house. This is more on the property, but um, we'll do a quick video through the house. 
This is one of those carports that um, she put up. We actually just took down the tarp because the cats and the weather just shredded it. Um, that's my big pile of junk that I need to go through and organize. Over there, that's the propane. Again, this is an off-grid location, so um, it's all propane and water catchment here. So we're we're powered on, you know, little golf cart batteries and solar panels on top of the roof that um, power everything. So I'm going to go into part three of the video, and I'll show you the house real quick, and um, just lead you to the backyard, and we'll probably stop it from there. So see you in the next one.